Good morning. Thank you for joining me for part two. This is going to be a little bit late because um, I'm afraid the real world uh, got in the way and uh, so there were things I had to take care of. Um, and so this has been waiting for me right on this table and I've been doing uh, a little bit of uh, uh, tearing and playing and thinking about but uh, I'll, I want to share with you what I have thought about uh, thus far. Okay, now, let me see. I'm going to take this piece and use it to uh, cover so that... Uh, okay, now this is the way this folder is going to be opening. And if you will remember from part one, um, the major pieces, the out major outside pieces, got a piece of this uh, script because I love the uh, I love the script and the uh, the white with the black, and then I went among my uh, my goodies, <clears throat> and uh, I found this one, and it kind of uh, it kind of took my interest, and then because of that color, I went into my uh, diary of a rose lover, and I found some of these. Thought that might uh, that might be nice there. This is the front front fold over. So then, just before I uh, got ready to turn on the uh, camera, I remembered these. Hmm. the softness of the fabric. Oh, let's see, dare we? Well, don't say that to Carol. That's like the red flag in front of the girl. Now, even if it's a little bit covered up, that's not a problem. It's only a problem if I make it one. I think I kind of like it just because of the fact that it's a uh, it's a fabric. But instead of worrying about ripping this, I think I'm actually going to uh, to do some cutting when the time comes to putting it down. So, okay, that's the uh, front flap over. This is the inside that we did in part one. This has the pocket. Now, this and this are the outsides. And so, I'm going to put that there. Let's look now at this focal. And this, of course, is a pocket. Now, I picked these bits. And these are... Uh, I want the, I want the, this to work with this because we have this. So maybe I'm going to just leave uh, this open for a bit to give to give us the big picture here. All righty now. Hmm. I know that I put this down because it seemed to work here, because I think it was the tear off from over here. I thought maybe, maybe, maybe. And then, of course, did I have the sense to, uh, did I have the sense to take pictures? Well, I guess no, I was in a rush and on the way out the door. You know when you can get a doctor's appointment, uh, you know, you have to grab, and if particularly one that you uh, want, it's uh, grab, in a, grab your uh, 
purse and your hat and your whatever and go. Now, so no pictures. Hmm. I, this, I liked, I don't know why, I just thought because of the softness, brings in a little bit of blue. Maybe here. Maybe there. And then I have all this. This, I don't know. I think this is, this is fading away too much. I have this lovely piece of um, lace. So I'm trying to hoard the rest of it so that I can share it out. It's so pretty. Um, I believe I thought of this, which is the right side. Right side. Okay. I thought that may be there. It just needs something to ring its chimes a little bit. And maybe I'll push this down. And maybe this rose can be climbing up that building. I think I'm going to call this a done deal. just like it so much and I've been hoarding it for so long that I'm going to put it on here just because I can. And I know you have all come to decisions like that yourselves. I think so. Alrighty. But before we go on, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take some time and uh, glue this bit and the front. Yes. Well, here's where we are thus far. This little bit of softness with the uh, fabric. It's probably a figment of my imagination, but I love it. And the original piece, and this one. And I changed flowers. I decided this one uh, needed to be on the front because it is the, the front. And so here is where we are right now. We have through four pockets, goodies to put in four pockets, but this one is... Uh, this one needs a little something something. So, when all else fails, Distress Ink Hickory Smoke, a magic brush, a magic brush right here. Now let's cover that bit of lace. Let's just do something, something right here. Oh, let's just do something, something right there. And maybe up here. And maybe here. Let's see if it makes a difference. Let's make sure it's not a figment of my fertile imagination. Well, okay, I'm happy with this. And I need to be a little bit more forceful right there. I to build this up very, very slowly. that uh, I have to restrain myself because uh, this is easy to do and pretty, so.
that's better. Yes, it is. Now. Here we go to these two. This this little folder is just the gift that keeps giving. So <clears throat> see what I thought about. <coughs> and a little Ricola. The um, back patio is covered with the yellow dust from pollen. And most of the time it doesn't get me, but probably when I'm in, you know, dealing with real life and maybe a little bit stressed, uh, it, it seems to talk to me a little bit more. So in we go. Now, Again, if I had taken pictures, this would be so much easier. Let's see what we have here. Something or not something. I know I had something going. to think I chose this one for here because of the darkness here and now that we just added the uh, piece of uh, stamped fabric I'm wanting to think I thought this one here three pieces? Maybe I did. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, and yes, here, yes, because when this opens, this bit is showing, the pretty lace is here. Maybe that's what we planned. Don't know. Okay, what's here now? This closes under that one. Yeah. yeah. I know that this is going to be here because this is the continuation of the front, although it's the back. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's non-negotiable. I wonder if I have this backwards. Was it supposed to be? Was it supposed to be? This way. Because of that. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's it. That's what I thought. Yes. This fabric is so fine and delicious. It, it just feels wonderful. Now, what have we got? If we close this.
Yes. Happiness is. Now a little bit of uh, gluing since there are only three bits that need to go down. I want it this way. Of course I wanted it that way. Because that would be upside down. Goodness, I'm glad I looked. sure to finger press this down because of the uh, embossed paper underneath. Okay. The middle of this leaf of this petal at the bottom of that. You are having a good day and plans for a uh, pleasant weekend. I know that some of you have uh, storms and snow, snow, snow. Gail and Wendy were talking about we're talking about what's going on with snow and. Uh, but I thought to myself, it's, uh, it's almost uh, ludicrous. We've had, uh, I hear about snow, and uh, Wendy mentioned, uh, Wendy's uh, journal adventures, um, mentioned that uh, they had, uh, I don't know, I hope, I'm not sure, I don't want to say it, but I think she might have said 10 feet of snow since January. Let's just say maybe it wasn't, maybe she just said something see, easy, like six feet, but. And uh, we've had uh, sunny, dry, and in the 80s here in North Florida. Now, tomorrow, it's supposed to be cold. Um, and that's translated as probably uh, it won't get out of the, uh, might get to 60 during the day and down to uh, low 30, low to mid 30s at night. And in Florida, that's typical. 85 one day, 50, 60, 55 the next day. It just that's the way it is. Makes zero sense. But when I hear about that amount of snow and that amount of work to deal with that much snow, I just uh, I just think to myself, the wonders of the world, the places that we can live and enjoy, and I. I certainly say, think to myself when Gail and uh, Wendy talk about it that at least, uh, at least where they live it's pretty. Land that's not flat. There we go. Beautiful foliage, beautiful flowers, such things as uh, lilacs because of the cold, which I have missed every year since we moved to Florida 40 years ago. There. Yes, I think that was it. Okay. Now, in here. Hmm. To, uh, I won't do this. Of course, this one's glued down. I won't do this one. Maybe I'll just put the tiniest little 
touch of the darkening around this one. I didn't want to do roses again, so I picked this because I thought this green would work. Let me get this down. further now. Yes. Well, all right, Carol, that was a figment of your imagination. for my sponge that goes with the, uh, there, there it is. Ooh, looks like this is going to be the only distressing that I've done on this one. Yes, that brings it out just, just enough. So love to make things with envelopes and uh, make some sort of a uh, a story out of the sides as best I can. something to tuck into those pockets. I'm going to have to go on a uh, search mission to see what uh, what might make me happy. I don't want anything to be too large or too heavy for these. Uh, I'll be back and we'll uh, and we'll decide. Well here we are back. I took some time to do the uh, housekeeping jobs here and uh, I just thought I'd let you know that I uh, use this Martha Stewart uh, piece. Uh, I used this that I got on sale because uh, I thought it would, it would work well with whites and it's, it does seem to. This punch was um, uh, a find at an anti at a, uh, antique mall. And then I had a big decision to make. I did not like pure white on here. It, it didn't work. And I was lucky to have this um, very, very, very pale gray, um, silvery gray um, seam binding. So I glued the piece of seam binding across the back and covered that in turn so that if this is, uh, if this should be used as a, uh, uh, a pocket, uh, the papers and whatever will go down easily behind that. So let's see 
what I did at the uh, housekeeping stage. You saw that bit. And then in here, we have the, um, the, four, the four pockets. This was my first choice. There it is, as a, uh, a writing spot from here, this pad, and uh, I put one of the uh, uh, stamped rose, uh, rose figures that I used on the uh, piece of fabric on the front cover here. So, and this just fit with just the tiniest little bit of, um, of trim. And in each of these pockets, I did the same thing. I picked a piece of um, paper from the pad and added the same stamp on the back to fill up these pockets. This one has the same sort of paper with the stamp. And this last one has paper with the stamp, all from that pad. There we go. Get it evened up nicely. I think I'll give this a turn. Okay, there we are. And so, I do hope that you have enjoyed uh, our time working on this folder. It has been uh, it has been great fun for me. And if you have enjoyed, I would appreciate your giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, and I do make every effort to uh, answer all of them. And uh, I would appreciate your uh, your subscribing to my channel. Bye now.